Ify and Joe, today you got awarded um, special caps for reaching over 100 appearances for the Scotland national team. Um, starting with Ify, can you remember your first cap and the memories of that day? Uh, a long time ago now. I uh, believe we were playing Ukraine away in the European qualifier and um, you know obviously times have really changed then you know squad has changed and the coaches and um, but obviously for me being the first cap was a really proud moment for me and my family and um, you know very special really and uh, to get to where we are now um, it's quite incredible to think that you know for me personally that I'm still playing at this age and you know the, you know years past and with the competition it's uh, wow, it's incredible but really humbled and proud. My first cap was against Canada which so happens my 100th cap was against as well, so um, it worked out nicely in that sense and uh, we were away playing in the Algarve Cup, which we used to play in before that um, we had set up the Cyprus Cup, so um, that was my, my first games out of four that week, so that was a nice introduction to the, to the national team. And how have things just in general, have how have they changed over the last decade or so in terms of what it was like from when you started and broke into the national team to, to the level we're at today? Um, so many things have changed, um, you know, obviously the faces, younger faces, like I remember, you know, being one of the youngsters when I first came about and now being the oldest and, you know, like, you know, the, gra you know, the granny of the team, but uh, that's changed tremendously, the competition has changed, uh, the quality, amount of times that we train, um, just, it's just like a complete 180 from obviously when I started, and, uh, but, you know, it's, it's great today, as it was then. Yeah, just as if he said, it's, it's a full step up in, in all senses and I think um, what shows most now is there's so much more talent coming through as well and the amount of times that we train now and the, the players that are playing professionally, um, if we included in that one, um, it's great opportunities that's come along since then. So hopefully we've, we've pioneered something. And finally, getting the award today is all part of this new UEFA initiative to try and recognise some of the achievements from women in the sport. How important is it to get that recognition on a, on a European scale? I think it's really important and also shows the growth in the women's game, you know, to being also in line with the men's, you know, who have been receiving these awards. And, uh, you know, for me personally, you know, I think, like, I feel very humbled and, um, you know, just even to have reached, you know, one cap, let alone 100, and to be recognised, you know, by UEFA, an organisation, you know, as, as big as that, um, it's really, it's really big and I'm really proud. Again, I can only echo what if he says. It's um, it's a very proud moment, not only to be um, recognised on behalf of the SFA, but like if he says, it's a massive organisation that UEFA is, and and to to pick up something from them, um, it's great.